If you've set up a Google business listing, you've undoubtedly done this hundreds of times. You go to Google, search for a keyword you'd like your business to rank for, and check if your listing is included in the top results until one day you strike gold. Your listing is sitting right there at the top of the Google Map Pack for everyone to see. And you can't wait to go home so you can proudly show your partner. And then nothing. Your listing is nowhere to be seen. Does this sound familiar? If it does, let me explain why this is happening to you in just one word. Location, location, location. Is that three words? Google uses location variables to display the most relevant results to searchers who are looking for local businesses. These variables will considerably affect what you see in local search results and Google Maps at any given point. That's why conducting a search on your office computer will show a different result to what you see at home for the same keyword and will give you a distorted view of how well your business ranks. So what's the solution? Knowing which location variables can affect your rankings will help you get a clear understanding of why you are getting different results. And learning how to track your rankings effectively and accurately across Google Maps will enable you to precisely understand how well you are doing and where you can improve. This is what we're going to cover in the next chapters. You've worked hard to rank in a map pack for your targeted city and after months of effort, still nothing and you don't know what else to do. The question is, does your business have a physical address in the city where you want your listing to rank based on Google Stan boundaries? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Google Maps and enter the city name in which you'd like your listing to rank. Google will highlight what it considers to be the borders of the city in a reddish color. You may need to zoom in or out a little to make it more obvious. If your business is located just outside of the borders, it will be a lot harder for you to rank for city-related keyword searches for this particular city. If I search for Window Cleaner Phoenix, for example, you can see all the pin markers for Window Cleaner businesses located within the Phoenix boundaries. If I search for Window Cleaner Tempe, which is right on the edge of Phoenix, Google will show all the window cleaners in Tempe. This shows how important your location is in relation to where your business will rank. If your business is located only a couple of blocks outside of the boundaries, like in this example, you will miss out on a lot of leads regardless of your marketing efforts. Based on keyword research, the number of people needing window cleaning services in Phoenix is far greater than in Tempe. But no matter what that window cleaner does, it will be very hard for him to ever get listed for the big town based on its location. Relocating your business to an address within the city boundaries could make a huge difference to your bottom line. When you check your rankings manually, you may find some of your competitors rank very well when you don't, even though you think you're doing a better job at marketing your listing. There are many reasons why that might be the case, one of which is in direct relation to the location of your competitors' businesses. When searching for a local business in a particular city from outside that city, it would seem that Google would rank listings based on their proximity to the city center. Let's say you live in Albuquerque and planning to spend the weekend in Santa Fe. While you're there, you'd like to visit a spa for a well-deserved massage. If you search for a spa in Santa Fe from your condo in Albuquerque, the ranking results you'll see in Google will factor in which spas are closest to the city center and rank them accordingly. This is the theory anyway. There are many other factors that will influence the results, but this one could explain why some of your competitors may outrank you. To find out what Google considers to be the center of a city, go to Google Maps. Search for the city where your business is located. Look at where the name of the city is placed on the map. You may need to zoom in or out. This is where Google considers the city center to be. Check how far your business is located from the center of town in relation to your competitors. To make this easier, you can use the Google Direction feature. If they are closer to the center than you, it might be the reason why they rank above you. Not everyone includes specific geographic keywords as part of their search and may instead use other terms such as near me or nearby, for example. When this is the case, Google will show businesses closest to where the searches are located based on the IP addresses 
of their computers or the GPS location of their mobile phones. If I search for a pest control specialist near me from my office, for example, I get this result. If I conduct the same search from my friend's garden half a mile down the road, the results are quite different. The proximity of your business to the searcher is a key ranking factor and the further away from your business a prospective customer is, the less likely Google will show your listing. This makes it impossible to track your Google Maps rankings accurately and to understand your geographical reach if you decide to check from a single spot such as your office. Doing so will only show you a very narrow view of how well your Google listing really ranks. So what can you do? Thankfully, there are several ways you can use to accurately track your ranking performance. But before I show you how, I'd be grateful if you could give this video a thumbs up to support the channel so I can continue helping you with more videos. Many thanks. You may not know that Google collects your data to tailor and personalize your experience in search results. Every time you search for something, the results Google will display will somehow be tweaked based on the data in your Google account. The purpose of personalized search is to present results that are more relevant to you. Google does this by tracking your online activities, such as the websites you visit, your search history, your location, and so on. This means that if you try to check your rankings manually from a computer you use regularly or on your phone, your results will be somehow influenced by your previous online activity and won't be a true reflection of reality. Although I think that checking your rankings manually is not the best approach, it can still be useful at times if you want to do a quick spot check. If you decide to use this method, I recommend you disable the personal results feature from Google search. This is how. From your computer, head over to google.com. In the bottom right hand corner, click on settings. From the pop-up menu, click on the search setting option. On the personal results, click on manage. Turn off the personalized results using the toggle at the top. From your mobile phone, open your Google Chrome app. Tap on your Google account icon. From the option list, tap on settings. On the next page, tap the personal results option. Then tap the toggle next to show personal results to switch off custom results. Although manual rank checking can be useful if you're serious about understanding your profile performance, you should consider tooling up. There are plenty of options out there, but here are two of my favorite ones. GMB Everywhere is a nifty Chrome extension designed specifically to help local business owners improve their Google business profile visibility. At a click of a button, you can audit any listings, including your competitors, look into their reviews, posts, and much more. It's very handy, and I use it all the time. One of their most recent features, called Teleport, allows you to simulate a search from various points across your target area and find out where your listing ranks. It will also show you who your competitors are, giving you a much clearer picture of where you stand. To do this, just download the extension first, then go to Google Maps. Search for your listing. A few buttons should automatically overlay on the main panel. Click on the Teleport option. Enter a keyword for which you wish to know where your listing ranks. On the map, click on the location from where you wish to simulate the search, then click on Teleport me there. On the next screen, you will see where your Google business listing ranks should someone search for this keyword from the location you specified and which competitors rank above you. Pretty neat, right? The free version of GMB Everywhere allows you to do five searches a month. This Chrome extension is part of my SEO arsenal and I can't recommend it enough. If you want to try it out, just click on the link in the description below and install it on your browser. It only takes less than a minute. Another one of my go-to tools to track rankings for my clients on Google Maps comes from Bright Local and is called the Local Search Grid. With Local Search Grid, you can get a bird's eye view of searches performed for your targeted keywords across your chosen geographical area. You can track up to five keywords at a time and the reports are color-coded so it makes it easy to understand where you're ranking well and where you're not. Clicking on the grid point will show you the competitors you are facing from that particular spot. 
It will also show you how many Google reviews they have and which business categories they use, both of which are ranking factors on Google Maps. You can use this information to improve your own Google listing so you can rank above them. With a local search grid, you can track your progress over time and quickly figure out if your efforts are paying off or not. The grid can be set to check a geographical area up to a 70 mile radius from your location, which is more than enough for any business. This is another invaluable tool that I use when auditing my clients' Google business profiles. If you want to use it for your own business, you'll need to subscribe to one of the Bright Local packages first. The cheapest package starts at $29 per month and includes 250 local grid credits. This will allow you to scan 10 keywords using a 5x5 grid every month. For more info, click on the link in the description below to subscribe to the Bright Local 14 days free trial. No credit cards are required. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to click on the like button if you did and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, happy marketing.